Sunday. Thanks very much. We are in the kitchen with Joy McCabe, who is fixing a perfect fall recipe. What you got, Joy? Butternut squash soup. All right, then. And it is, it is my favorite, one of my favorite soups to have this time of year. Even my husband likes it. He's just a pretty much um, basic chicken noodle soup kind of guy. Yeah. But he loves this soup. And what makes it even easier, you can buy fresh butternut squash already cut up in the grocery store. So you don't have to peel it, you don't have to worry about any of that, just buy it, come home and make the soup and it comes together really fast. That's that a, can be a process. It, oh, the amount of time I've been up cooking butternut of squash. squash. <laughs> It's hard. Uh -huh. I'm you what. Oh my gosh, that's funny. So anyway, big convenience there. it is a big convenience. I mean, it is the only way I would do this soup, I think. But I've got some onions already sauteed here in this pan. Um, this is one sweet onion chopped up in a little olive oil, along with some um, garlic and salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. And so once that is cooked and it's nice and soft, you're going to add in your squash. And this is the way I bought it from the store, cut up just like this, and it's perfect. All right, then we're gonna add some chicken stock. And um, you will need a, a 48 ounce container of chicken stock. And this is what a 48 ounce container looks like. So you can okay. buy this. You don't have to worry about measuring anything. Just pour that in, it's perfect. Oh, and this is three cups of squash. So you're going to then put this, um, uh, turn up the heat, let this come to a boil, then when it starts to boil, turn the heat down, cover it, let it cook for 20 minutes, and then we're gonna uh, move Come over to this over, part. Joy. And I'll Let's show you. And show I'll show you the next, next step. Um. <laughs> so this is um, been cooking for 20 minutes. You can see the squash is really oh. soft. So we're gonna process it with this immersion blender, and I love using this. It is it, again, it's just an easy step for for doing this. But if you don't have an immersion blender, you can use a uh, regular blender. You just need to do a small batches, you know, a little bit at a time. But you can see I'm just going through, able to just um, process this uh, squash and the onions, and it's going to be smooth and creamy and really good. And don't do that. <laughs> don't let it come up out of the... <laughs> or else you have a big mess. But luckily it didn't go on anybody. That's a good little tool you got. It is a great tool. And then you just rinse it off under yeah. the sink from here down and it's easy to clean, easy to do. So when you've done all this, you're gonna have smooth, creamy, Yum. rich soup. And I mean, you'll think somebody snuck some cream in there or something. It's so rich and satisfying and good. I like to serve it with a little um, sour cream and maybe some of these toasted uh, pumpkin seeds or some croutons yeah, and good. you okay. know it's really healthy and I don't make many healthy things on this show but this one is really yeah. healthy and, good and yeah. really good yeah. and it might be good to have during the holiday times when you're tempted with so much food to, to have this once a, a few times yeah. a week. I'm going to try it this weekend. Yeah, yeah. I may call you for some okay. help. Now. Okay. I'm not oh, very skilled in the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to help me make the recipe? Yeah, you're right. yeah right. brother. Always great seeing you. Thank you. Sure. Always Thank great you. being here, too. 